Good shit. Yes, 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 yes. Time to eat, time to eat. Yum, 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 yum. And there's uh, another one here. Yep. Yum, 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 yum. Is that everything? Was this like a really small dungeon? I don't even remember. Oh, no, wait. We got to come up here. Oh, the plans. Right, the plans. Okay. Oh, fuck. Can I open this? Shit. I'm too dumb. I can't open the chest. Ayla. Ayla. <laughs> I don't you say your fucking name! Open the chest for me, please! When we had last left the last dragonborn, they were on a very important mission, this time traveling with the inner circle, or at least what remained of them, of the companions up to the tomb of Isgrimor. It was there that they had finally uh, brought Wuthrod completely reassembled and placed it on a cool statue. And in doing so, they gained access to the rest of the tomb. And it was there that they found the ghostly spectral remains of companions long past, including that of Codlac Whitemane, who had been slain recently in the attack of uh, the attack by the Silver Hand, who were also still at large, lest we forget. They were still actually out there in kind of a threat. They were, they, they, we didn't get rid of them all. They're still out there. Anyway, they, they were dealt with, but Codlac, his soul needed redemption and saving. It needed to be freed from the throes of Hersine's, Hersine's terrible grasp and the inner circle of the companions did exactly that by way of offering glenmoral witch's heads to a big fire it made a wolf come out of codlac's ghost crotch and they defeated it and that was all that needed to be done he was cured he was good to go and so of course the Dragonborn was then made the leader of the Companions, and everybody was kind of cool about it. Now, however, it was time to return back to Yorvasker and perhaps follow up with more weird shit. This is The Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim, welcome back. Shoop! There we go. Let's head on out. Good, good, good. We'll call for... Odaving out here. There are a few places I would like to look around here, but lest we forget. Oh. But lest we forget. Is that is that prior Mabel? Yeah, I think. Yeah, okay. But um we don't have a companion with us. We don't have any kind of follower with us in case we get encumbered or whatever. And we're kind of close to that point, you know? As much as I would love to go over here to Sky Temple Ruins, I don't remember. Did we ever actually clear that out? I don't know that we did. Hmm. Regardless. Oh, speaking of things I don't know if that we did. Did I actually level up? Yeah, here we go. Level up our Animal Allegiance shout. Do we have any others while we're in here? No. It is wild that we still have kind of like a decent amount more to go. <laughs> right? <laughs> Are there any shouts that we just completely lack for now? That may be the case. Like, aside from ones that you get by way of, um, like, different faction quests and stuff, right? Because there may be... There's... I think there's very well at least one of those, either by way of the Dark Brotherhood or the, um... Dawn Guard expansion and whatnot, right? There's at least one like that. Okay. Anyhow, let us call for a dragon... There we go. Let's quick save in case I mess it up. Odaving! Let's see. Odaving, will you answer? Odaving, I beseech you! It worked, I think. There you are. Okay. Great. Let's go for two hours. Okay. And then bend will. We are actually freezing out here, but it's, it's okay, kind of. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's a miss. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Over here. Oh, shit, that's the wrong one. 
<laughs> we didn't yet. Uh, okay, when I quick saved, I hadn't yet changed around which one we had equipped. Okay, bend will. There we go. Is that a hit? Oh, perfect. Okay. Let's see. Where do you land at here? Okay. How can I serve you, Thuri? I need to get back to Yorvisker before I freeze How to death. I serve you, Thuri? Maybe you could like blow some fire onto me as well. That'd be great. No? Okay. Let's head on out over this way and down here to the stables. There we go. Wonderful. Becoming cold makes it difficult to move quickly. Yeah. No kidding, huh? Okay. I will look for a spot to land. Oh shit! Whoa, right here. Wow, front door, huh? Jeez, I didn't know we were fancy today. Okay. Thanks, Odaving. Let's head on out. We will probably yeah, we should probably rest first. Ooh, can we actually rest at um oh, Jesus. Can we actually rest at your Vasker in a new bed? Aside from the like bunk beds area for you know all the low level entry level members. Hmm, let's see. Like at the very least we should get Codlax's room, right? <laughs> do you think do you think that's okay? Or is that like fucked up that we're just gonna decide to sleep inside of his room? The bed's still warm and everything? Good god. Let's go on over here. Your Vasker. Great. Hey, look. They all made it out here already. Okay, cool. Well, before we speak to them, I do for real think we should rest up and every- Well, we could do it now if we wanted. We could warm up real quick and, and shit. Uh, we're actually warm right now. Hmm. Okay. So what is this? What am I tracking right now? Oh, talk to the companion leaders for work. Gotcha. Okay. Well, we should probably talk to you first. That way we can get our werewolf totem stuff dealt with. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. Yeah, what do you need me to get done? Do you have guidance for me, Harbinger? What's the next target? Good that you're so eager. I've caught wind that one of the brighter silver hand has been sniffing around the rift. If you can sneak into their camp and steal his plans, we'll have the advantage. Okay. Stealing plans, really? Okay. Steal the plans from Broken Helm Hollow. Hmm. Okay. So how exactly does this work? When do we start getting the totem ones, or is it just kind of random? Sort of like the Thieves Guild stuff. Yeah, we've been out here too. Ah, uh, okay. Look, we can pick up additional fishing bounties while we're out this way just as well. What a great plan. Okay. Should we check in with everyone? Well, no, everyone's kind of sleeping. All right. Once we get up, we'll check in with everyone. Let's go until nine. There we go. Great. Hey, oh, Rhea. Good to have some fresh eyes up there at the top. I follow your lead, Harbinger. What kind of weapon do you prefer? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes, wisdom to you, friend. Do you have anything good to morning. say? Mm -hmm. My favorite drink. Okay. I can get in and out before How come Rhea had yeah, unique yeah. dialogue? Let's test that out sometime. Okay, anyone else down here that we should chat with? What about you, Grandma? I've been tending to no. the warriors of your Farkas? You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Can you give me work? Aren't you already running okay, a gotcha. job for Ayala? Come talk to me when you finish that up. Ayala? Is that what you just called her? Aren't you already running a job for Ayala? Come Ayala. talk to me when you finish that up. Ayala! Okay. All right, then. Maybe that's <laughs> maybe that's just how he says it. Okay, I feel like he adds in an extra syllable though. Vilkus. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Looking for work? Aren't you already running a job for Ayala? Ayala. When you finish that up. Ayala. Ayala. <laughs> Sorry. <Right. laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see. Where is anyone else we should speak with? Friends hey. like you are hard to find. Yada. What guidance could you offer me? <laughs> oh shit! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. Okay, great. <laughs> she's so she's like having a yes, laugh yes, about it. A, make it quick. Speak. 
Make it quick. Oh man. She was like about to fucking burst into laughter. Alright then. Okay, over here. Let's see. No, nope, but I guess this is our room now, right? Is there anything good in here that we should be looking at? There's money. I guess I'll take it. That's empty. We cleared that out. Clothing, cupboard filled with. Random junk. Empty chest. Sack filled with flour. I'll just eat it. Why not? Over here. Some more clothing. Good. Okay. I'm actually going to take that giant's toe. Okay. Hmm. Have we checked in with everybody? I guess everybody except Ayla. And the people who only ever are on the top floor. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go back up. Oh, do you think, um, what's his name? Yurland. Will Yurland have anything new to say? Maybe. Let's see here. I wouldn't have expected someone like you to be the harbinger. Oh, we've but heard God that before. Like your How about you, Brill? I'd be so dead alive. if not for Vignar. Okay. Took me in and helped Will me Vignar say life. anything? Is Vignar even here? Nah. Maybe he's outside or something. Farewell, sir. When the Empire oh, surrendered hey. to the old Mary Dominion, they shamed us all. Okay, well, what about me being the leader now? We Grey Maids have been feuding with the Battleborns for years. There's okay. no more bitter enemy than an old friend. I feel like as Harbinger, as leader of the Companions and shit, I feel like, you know, I should probably be so able to have him be like, anyway. Hey, follow me. <laughs> I should be like, yeah, that's right, today. You need to come with me today. It's you. <laughs> You're the one. <laughs> kind of a shame that you can't put the, um, the axe back here, you know? Feels weird to have all this right here and nothing even in it. Okay. Going over this way. Or at least a replica, right? Did we lose the ability to make replica weapons in the 200 years since Oblivion? That was also outlawed along with, like, levitation and shit. Okay. Anyone else? I guess we'll check in with her. Will she follow me even though she's giving me the quest? Do you have guidance for me, Harbinger? Will you follow me? Let's not waste any time. Hey, cool. Okay. I'm still here. Also, can you train me to be better at archery? I already know all no. that I know. How about work? What will you say? I've already given you a job. Now get to it. Okay, okay. Let's, Let's go, go check in with Eorland. There we are. Okay. It may be like the Thieves Guild to where you just have to do X amount and until you randomly get assigned the more important ones, right? It may just be like you're drawing from a hat or whatever. Hey, Yorland, did you hear the news? You know, since Kodlek's funeral, the Skyforge feels more awake. Ooh, it Always ate him. It's been said that the souls of the heroes of old are what gives Skyforge steel its strength. Oh, you want me to burn some but people I in there? The Forge knows the greatness of Kodlak's soul. I can't really explain, but it feels like it's young. I'll wager it could now forge metal the likes of which hasn't been seen since eras long forgotten. I'm eager to try. Oh, okay. Sure, do you need more souls? I could put some, like, soul gems in there. Do you think that would help? Well, it is quite a forge you've got here. Skyforge? I, my clan fathers, have worked it since the first Grey Mains came to Whiterun. Skyforge steel is all the companions will use, for good reason. Okay, tell me about yourself. Did we not ever ask him this? Huh? You know who I am, fool. So why are you asking? <laughs> I love it! Okay, what if I say it again? Huh? You know who I am, fool. So why are you asking? Does he say that because of our, our like, rank in the companions, or does he say that to everyone? Like, he's such a, like, he's like, you know who I am. You're here in Whiterun, you know who I am. <laughs> who are the companions? By Izmir's beard, I ain't one for humor. You know who the companions are, so quit your asking. <laughs> wow. Are, is there anyone else in the entire game who has that kind of reactivity? 
Or is Yorlin Greymane like one of the few NPCs who does shit like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I bet it also. Do you think also him breathing in and working the forge, breathing in like the the fumes and cinders and everything, it has an effect on him, right? Maybe it's like doing something to his physiology. Maybe. Got a lot of steel to shape. Let's see what you got Lost for sale. Be Shouldn't he be selling like new, like Skyforge steel stuff, or is it just powering it up? It may just be powering it up. I think. Okay. Let's see. Let's sell off some of our shit as well. We got these arrows, but I want to hold on to them. What have I got over here? How about all these? Right? There we are. Good. That'll do. We done? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well... I guess we should head over to Riften, right? Because I do want to pick up that other fishing quest. And then we can knock out this. And then I suppose we'll see if, like... Like, how we want to handle these Radiant quests for the companions. Because we may just do them kind of... Rather than, like, making a beeline directly for... The exact quests that we need. Similar to how we've treated the, the Thieves Guild. Maybe we'll just kind of take them and do them as, as we've got them, right? We'll just do them every so now and then sprinkle them throughout, unless it gets to a point where it's like, oh yeah, we should definitely start seeking out these specific ones and like, save before initiating dialogue or whatever, you know? We'll see. Okay, over here. Because as it stands, this plans thing, it may be a one and done, you know? Okay, where's our carriage lord over here? Wonderful. Good, good, good. Hey! I can take you to any of the hold capitals. I'd love that. Will you take me to Riften? Where do you want to go? Climb and back. And there we go. Off. Good. You'll want to watch yourself in Riften. I did- what? hang on. I did deliver the other fucking fish, didn't I? Oh, fuck! Wait, I didn't- hang on! I didn't- I didn't deliver the other fish! <laughs> hang on! All right, all right, all right. <laughs> All right, well, we'll get this fish uh, business taken care of. That way, all of our fishy business is, is dealt with. Okay. There we go. We do have the quest still. Yeah. Okay. Two of a kind was the one. All right. And I do still have a goldfish on me. Right? Fish. I should have just typed in gold. Yeah, there we go. Okay, goldfish. Three of them. Great. Okay, where is this kid hanging out at? It's not you, right? Yeah. Can you be my father? Whoa, God, okay. <laughs> what did I do for this kid? I don't even know. Yeah, what's up? I got a fish. I got another I goldfish. Work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days, but hard work. We'll check out what's really fun. Fish. Did you know there's some fruits that actually grow better in the cold weather? Did you know that there's some fish that actually grow better in the cold weather? Yeah, I bet you didn't know that. I got your letter, and I have a new companion for your golden friend right here. This is great. Wow, thanks. Okay, we have to see her put it again inside of the, like, trough. You're going to love it here. We have a lot of fun, and we look out for each other, just like any family. Wow. Thanks. Here, this is for you. Mila's note on the very secret treasure. Key to the strong box added. What? You'd be surprised how much work it is selling things at a stall. It's not all standing around and chatting. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. I guess if we just, yeah. Very secret treasure. Oh, do you think we're gonna. Inside the secret treasure, is it gonna be the secret to some of that secret magic? Does Mila know about the secret magic? <laughs> Mila's very secret treasure. Stop reading now or I'll tell mom and the guards. It's illegal to read things that don't belong to you. If you're still reading, it must be because we're friends. And I want you to have the treasure at my secret hiding spot. I have a place where I like to play behind Dragon's Reach. I pretend I have my very own vegetable stall, just like mom. That's where I keep my best treasure. 
I keep it all locked up so Braze can't take it. My favorite flower is also in there, and a really big bug I found last week. I didn't kill it. It was dead when I found it. Honest. A really big bug. It's just like, it's a Charis. It's like a Charis Reaper or whatever. Its entire body. It's like half of its ass is like sticking out of her make-believe little child's stall. There's like flies and stuff gathering around its corpse. <laughs> she actually did kill it. She's a, She'll like grow up to be some sort of like legendary hero. <laughs> she'll become like the harbinger of the companions in like 50 years time or some shit. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? So, place where you like to play behind Dragon's Reach. Okay. I don't know about anyone else, but I did... I did very similar things as a kid. <laughs> I remember I, I had, like, a little box and stuff that I put, like, weird old coins and keys that I didn't know what they went to. Just keys that I would find. I would just put them inside the box and I'd be like, Hey, don't open this! You're bad or whatever if you look inside of here or some shit like that. <laughs> or like a really old looking dollar or something that I found or one that like was counterfeit or something like that. <laughs> or like um, money from like a different country or something like that for sure I would put inside of that. Good God. Or like my favorite Pokemon card, some shit like that. And then I also did do the, um, I would do like a pretend shop or whatever as well. Man, is this it? Where the hell do we gotta go for this? Shit. Okay. Well, this ain't it. Because this is this goes into the interior. Is it actually outside of the city perimeter? No. We have, like, a quest tracker, don't we? Yeah. That's what this is for, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, this must be it. Oh, this is it. What do you think the bug will be? Oh! Child's doll. There's money. Okay. What's the big bug? Two of a kind. Some gold, hawk beak, pearl. Oh, ancestor moth wing. Wow! Holy shit! Okay. That is quite the find. I mean, should I take everything else? Or do you think this is the really big bug? I guess this is the big bug. The dart wing. Sure. I believe it. Okay. You can keep the rest. I just want the weird alchemical reagent. Alright. Good. But yeah. The things that I sold in my shop were like, <laughs> if I found a really cool stick that felt good to like hit a tree with, <laughs> or or like I would tie together some weird like some extra long, like overgrown blades of grass, or the ones with the little fuzzy tips or whatever, I'd tie those together and pretend like that was some kind of like weapon or whatever. Keep in mind, this is like um, this isn't like I. <laughs> This is this is not like not just some sort of like oh what a sweet little kid. I was I don't even know what age I was, but I was like in middle school at the time, so I wasn't that young. I wasn't that young. I was just a weird kid who had played too much fucking Morrowind. <laughs> That's the thing. That's why the, the sticks are like, oh this one's like a oh this is this one might be Daedric or whatever. I couldn't even read the word Daedric at the time. Didn't even know what the hell it meant. <laughs> Right, but hey, you know this one this one's the glass kind. I could read glass <laughs> Good God What the fuck? Okay, let's go on out over this way. Actually. No, I probably could read Daedric. I probably could read Daedric at the time Let's see I probably could read it, but I would say it incorrectly <laughs> All right now let's head on over to Riften, right? Yeah. Good, good, good. God, I was so hoping it would be like a fucking Charis. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's head on out. Where do you want to go? Good, and let's go to Riften. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Great. 
over here. Or better yet, it's not a Charis. It's like, <laughs> it's a fucking, like, husk of a dead silt strider that she just, like, got hauled over here. She asked a whole bunch of people to, like, haul it over to her shop or some shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Let's see. Oh, God. Is that the sound of a dragon? Hey, look! She pulls out a torch at night. Wow. Oh, that is a dragon. Okay. Well, what can you do? Oh, it's a Lejo dragon as well. You know what? Here, let's bend Will on it. Fuck it. There we go. Chill out. Jeez. You're gonna shoot it, huh? Oh, no. Is it angry now? Wait, something is angry. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's moving me along with it. Oh. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to go get, um... <laughs> I need to go get a fishing quest, <laughs> you asshole. Hang on. Okay, let's see, we'll run over here. There we are. Wow, look at everybody. What time of day is it? 3.58. Shops should have been closed forever ago. Oh, hey, it's you. I'm waiting. Hmm? Know anyone in need of fishing work around Skyrim? Look at her go. Maybe you can help me. Maybe I can. Headed to Dawnstar. Oh shit. It's all in this note. Okay. This won't be easy, but that's why I'm sending you. Think you can handle it? Oh shit, what is this? Some kind of powerful fish? I'm always up for one of your crab dilemmas. Just point me towards something with claws and I'll make it dead. I'm up for crab dilemmas. Thanks. Good luck out there. Okay. Oh wait, it is a crab dilemma. Letter on mud crab attacks. Okay. Crustacean extermination. <laughs> what the fuck? Veraya, I have received multiple accounts of fishermen being attacked near a small shack on the shore of West Dawnstar by a swarm of mud crabs. Yes. Mud crabs. No, I didn't believe it either until I saw their wounds for myself. One traveler said that they jumped out of the sea right at her. I would like you, the foremost expert on mud crab. Whoa. Is. Can the plural form of mud crab also be mud crab? Like. Apparently, there is also a version where it's mud crabs. But can you also say mud crab as, like, plural? That would be fucking incredible. To investigate. <laughs> I cannot afford to spare any of my guards. So I ask you, please find a way to rid these beasts from our shores. Jarl Skald. Viraya's Notes. Fascinating. I wonder what could be causing them to gather together and become aggressive. Mud crab. Or mud crab! Mud crab! Singular, but plural! There's no S! Are timid creatures, unless threatened. So something must have stirred them up. Either way, they will have to be put to rest, so the shore is safe again. A shame I won't get a chance to study them. Hmm. Okay. Sure. We're lucky that these mud crab attacks were here on, like, mainland Skyrim, and not on Soul Slime or whatever. <laughs> if this happened to the skull, uh-oh, they'd think that the, another fucking blood moon was coming. <laughs> Alright. Let's go and rest here. There we are. Let's go for five hours. That should be fine. There we are. Lovely. Yeah. Cool. Honored to see you again, my fame. Honored to see you too, Iona. We're heading out. Me and <laughs> A Ayla, Ayala, Ayala. I know you. Let's go on over here. Will she will wolf out? No, probably not. None of them will, right? Even after we've done the the quests and whatnot, right? Let's travel. Over to, yeah, way back here. Okay. I'm kind of tempted to find out about this situation, though, right? It's the first time it's been, like, a combat-focused one, right? 
Oh, fuck. Should we also... Oh, shit. Before I forget, we should check in with, um... Swims in Deep Water or whatever their name was. Oh, shit. What if they have another quest related to fishing? While we're here, you know? Let's see. Can I make this? No! Hell yes. Oh my god, look at me go. Oh my god, look at me go! Oh, I can't quite get inside. Wow, look at this! Low level of detail rift in. What? Oh shit. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Wow, look at that! Cool. Man. Is there a centerpiece? Have I forgotten what Riften even looks like? Is there actually that center little gazebo thing? I don't think so, is there? Jesus. What's really weird is I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> it's like my favorite town in the entire fucking game and I'm not sure now that I see it. <laughs> I'm having a real fucking Mandela effect right now going on. All right. Rift and Fishery. There we are. Where did this dude go? You're always here, right? You don't know anything about it. Yeah. better now thanks to you. Sure thing. You've been kind. Where's Thank you. Where's this dude at? Does he sleep in here? No. Is he gone? Did someone, like, kill this man? Shouldn't he be around here? Yeah, she's out here. Oh, sorry. He should be around here, shouldn't he? Hey, you seen an Argonian trees. dude? The fall forest makes me miss my childhood. Playing among the towering trees in Valenwood, living with my brethren. Oh, wow. Seeing the sorry state of this city almost makes me regret my decision to leave my home and my apprenticeship completed. I was fortunate enough to be guided by one of Sylvanar's master armorers until he passed. Sylvanar? On his deathbed, my master urged me to take over his business, but I decided against it. I chose to wander Tamriel instead. Oh my god, you're giving me so much, like, incidental lore. Now, here I am, working for this dreary city's fishery. I sometimes wonder why I don't just move on. Jesus, what is this Elden Ring? I keep pressing E and he keeps telling me cool shit. Yes. Oh, <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Holy fuck, he just gave me a whole story like that. Wow. Okay. Yo, where is our friend, though? Where is our fisher friend? What in the world happened to him? Huh. Okay, well. It's clear skies, it's a little foggy. Let's see. And we do want to head over this way. Is our map tracking it correctly? I don't think so. Oh no, it is. It totally is. Okay, great. Well, it should be fine to go and enter the water, right? Yeah, 1034. Shouldn't be that cold. I'll wait until we get super speed again. Okay. Good, good, good. Ideally, we would like have prior Mabel with us right now, but eh, it's not too far. We've been here a bazillion times. Alright. Over this way. So this time we are getting, like, plans from them or something like that, right? Maybe we should start wolfing out just immediately. We have the, like, increased damage dealt and shit like that, you know? We deal extra damage. I'm kind of tempted to. Okay. Up here. Oh, dear. There's also some ruins over here we haven't been to. Maybe we'll check that out as well. I'm kind of tempted to, you know. Got some wanderlust going on. All right. What better game to get it as well? God, I'm really looking forward to Starfield. Oh, shit. We haven't even had, like, the big gameplay trailer, which I'm sure is just going to fucking blow me away. I'm Z. There we go. Okay. Good, good, good. Over here. I'll munch on a little bit of food. Oh shit, I munched while I was ethereal, so it passed right through me. It just like went through into my, my esophagus and right out my butthole as I was doing that. Like some kind of ghost. Oh no. 
And I bet Ayella was just laughing it up big time. She was just like snickering to herself like, this idiot. You turned into a fucking ghost and tried to eat salmon? Now it's mine! Now this salmon belongs to the Master Huntress! <laughs> the ultimate wolf woman! <laughs> it's mine now! She reaches down and scoops it up off the ground. <laughs> Just passed right through my ghost butthole. <laughs> She's like, mmm, good as new. <laughs> Brushes off some, like, dirt and shit off of it. Mm, num, 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 num. <laughs> what a weirdo. <laughs> Alright. Let's go on up here. She turns into a werewolf first, that way she gets perk progress. <laughs> Good god. Oh shit. Alright, here we go. It's rumble time, baby. Let's see. I don't have become beast here, do I? Yeah. It's just time to start beasting out. Oh, but first, don't we want, yeah, dragon asp- Oh shit, did I do it right? Yeah, okay. Ooh, Hang on, chill. And then... Let's see, I want over here. What's it called again? Become beast? Yeah, beast form. I'm beasting out! Oh shit, stop shooting me! Stop shooting me! I'm beasting out! Stop shooting me! I'm beasting out! I'm beasting out! I'm beasting out! There we go. Okay. Shit. Munching. Look, my spectral dude is working big time. There we go. Wonderful. Yum, 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 yum. Good shit. Ooh, perk available. Oh, don't mind if I do. Let's see. Oh, let's cap it out. Double damage now. Hell yes. All right. Good. Let's zoom out that way when we sprint, it's not gonna, like, give us fucking motion sickness or something. Yeah, I'm going right through it. Be aware that I'm here. There we go. There we go. Uh, rise and shine, dickhead! <laughs> yes! There we go. Oh, shit! Oh, she has power! There we go. There we are. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. There we are. Good. Good shit. Yes, 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 yes. Time to eat. Time to eat. Yum, 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 yum. And there's uh, another one here. Yep. Yum, 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 yum. Is that everything? Was this like a really small dungeon? I don't even remember. Oh, no, wait, we gotta come up here. Oh, the plans, right, the plans. Okay. Oh, fuck, can I open this? Shit! I'm too dumb, I can't open the chest! Ayla! Ayla! <laughs> How do you say your fucking name? Open the chest for me, please! <laughs> I'm trying to do your quest! Where is she even gone? She's not even in here. There she is. Trouble ahead. Yeah, I'm the trouble. I, I killed them all. I already did it all. I killed them all. You missed it. What the fuck? Can I open this thing? Are there at least more dudes I can go in here and fight? They're cruising for a bruising. Shit, I can't even fit in this little hole. Okay, there we go. There we are. Is there anything back here? Just some weird shit going on? Can I, like, slurp up some of this stuff? Look, there's, like, some bones and stuff. I could chew on that. Get perk progress. Wait. Do you think if I hit this, will I... <laughs> No? No? Okay. Okay. Wishful thinking. Okay. Alright. Hey, watch it. Ayla, I'm trying to I'm trying to get through here. Okay. Yeah, it's just a small ass dungeon, huh? It really was not worth it to like wolf out. Okay. Well, we can rest here for like what? Three hours should do it. Are we done? Yeah, there we go. Good. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Elixir of lockpicking? Hell yeah, I'll take it. Okay, good. Uh-oh. Something is about to kill me. <laughs> Something is about to kill me. Silver hand stratagem. Okay. 
Jade Emerald Circlet. Should we read this? Oh, I can't, uh... Whew. Oh, it was just that. Okay. Stratagem. Oh. Oh, you can't actually open it. Huh. Alright. Hey, Ayla. I got it. Let's get going. I got the plans. Perfect. Hopefully this will let us know more about their movement. I think we've got them on the run. I hope so. Okay. So if I say, hey, can we do some more shit? Wait, you don't have anything else for me. Lead on then. I'm oh, here still we go. Here. Wait, what? Let's go. We've stopped. What is it? How do I? <laughs> I want I want more work, Ayla. What do you know? <laughs> what do you know? Give me your stratagem. <laughs> How do I do it, Ayla? I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fuck shit up. Maybe we need to go outside or something? Let's see. Over here. Hey. I'm still now? here. No. What the hell? Let's Is there go. like some kind of time cooldown on it? Alright, fine. Fuck it. Let's see, should we go over and explore one of these cool areas, or... Do we fight crabs? I kinda wanna fight crabs, dude! I kinda wanna fight crabs! I'm gonna fight crabs. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we got it here. Let's see. Call Dragon. We'll quick save in case it fucks up from oh, doing it here. A bing. Come on, Odaving. Come on, baby. There you are. Good shit. All right. Bend will. And let's wait for two hours. Good. Quick saving. And... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It hit. Oh, my God. Okay. Hey. There you go, Odaving. You're my number one customer. Fuck me. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I guess I'm your number one customer. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, and then... Let's head on out over to... Dawnstar, right? Yeah. Or actually, can we track the quest already? Do we not have it? Yeah, Crustacean Extermination. Ooh, it's just out here. It's just out here. How mysterious. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, I'm excited. Maybe we'll have our uh, shit on cooldown as well. Yes, three. Wagot. I will land at once. Wagot. There we go. Look, it's that shack over there. We've been to it as well. We're familiar with this place, with this shack. Let's see. I still don't have beast form ready. It would have been funny to <laughs> to fight them with as a werewolf. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Good. Oh wait, you know what? We're gonna steal your soul. There we go. Hey, you know what? At the very least, we can take a whole bunch of crab souls, can't we? Hell yeah. Oh shit, what we got coming after us now? Got something coming in. It's not a dragon, is it? No. Ayla is not happy about it. Oh. Oops. Treasure chest, let's see. Soul gem, a little bit of money, I'll take it. Yeah, what are we in combat with? Is it another dragon? No, that's Odaving. Okay. It's clear skies, it's getting some light flurries. Oh! Odaving, that better be some, like, bear or something out there. <laughs> Odaving, no more subjugating the people of Skyrim. I thought we went over this. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Good God. Okay. It's time. The Crab Shack. Hell yes. Joe's Crab Shack. Oh, what the fuck? What is that? It's a bear. Frenzied Mud Crab. Is this bear related to it? Is this also a crab? 
Look at them all coming out. Oh shit! What a thing! Fuck yes. Okay. Jeez, there's a bunch. Oh my gosh, they're fierce. They're getting big. They're getting, they're getting big. <laughs> okay. Fuck me. Fall back. Fall back. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ultimate Magicka. I gotta heal up a bit. Jeez, where are we gonna get a fucking Emperor Crab at the end of this or some shit? <laughs> fucking, we're just gonna build a new Underscar right here. Right on this fucking beach. Hell yes. Okay. There we go. Good. Oh my god. Look at their power and strength. There's there's some guy here too. <laughs> there's some fucking guy. He's also a crab. He is one of them. <laughs> oh my god. They're so powerful. I actually have to heal up. They're stronger than all of the fucking... Uh, <laughs> Silver hand combined. Okay. Jeez, look at him lunge. It's like hazardous for me to be trying to soul trap them all like this. There we go. Any more? Discover the origin of the frenzied mud crabs. The crab origin. Crab age origins. Which origin story will you choose for your mud crab? Are you a frenzied mud crab off the northern shore of Skyrim? Maybe. Or are you perhaps a drunken mud crab <laughs> down by the southern coast of Vardenfell? The choices are all in your hands. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this one was married. Okay. Here we go. Good. This mud crab was looking for Sean. <laughs> this mud crab was looking for Sean. They never took off the wedding ring. Wow. How romantic. <laughs> okay. Let's see over here. Oh my gosh, this mud crab was a synth. <laughs> These are so dumb. These are so dumb. I fucking love it. <laughs> okay. What else we got over here? More chitin. Wow, these mud crabs, they just love having chitin on them, huh? Weird. All right, let's also use this. Shrine of Kinnereth. Fix this up a bit. Okay. Let's see. What's their horrible point of origin? Sevier. Do we know Sevier? Why does that name seem familiar? Sevier's Journal. An ancient Nord dagger. Wow, look at that. Have we seen one of these before? Fuck, it looks cool. Jeez, it looks really cool. I love the look of it. Oh my god, I'm taking it. It's just like the new version of the ancient Nord, like, two-handed hammer and stuff that I love the look of. Right? I'm drinking all that, just for fun. Alright. Let's read your journal. 30th of Sun's Height, 4th Era 201. To master the art of necromancy, one requires a constant supply of corpses upon which to practice. Here on the coast, I can practice my arts undisturbed. Save for a lone fisherman, I convinced to let me rest in his shack. Amazing how far a few potions and fire salts can take you. Soon, I will begin the pacification ritual that will bring me wave after wave of docile creatures to slay and practice my abilities. Second of last seed. Fourth Era 201. The ritual is complete. Mud crabs arrive from the sea in droves, each ready to surrender their life. Already I feel myself growing stronger in the dark arts. I bring down the knife 
and I see life's flame extinguished from their eyes. Holy shit! <laughs> we read about this before. I, I think we read, like, so the crabber who lived here was writing about them or something like that. We read about this person. Maybe this is why the name is so familiar. Then I raise my hand and see it spark once more. I bring the knife back down again, and the others watch on, their feeble minds unable to resist. Seventh of last seed, fourth era 201. A curious thing happened today. As a fresh wave of the clawed creatures rose out of the water, one of them ran ahead of the pack and lunged right at me, snapping and chittering. Perhaps my illusion has had some kind of adverse effect on them, driving them to frenzy instead of calm submission. I will dispel the illusion for now, and make do with the creatures I find close to the shore. Tenth of last seat, fourth era. <laughs> this is gonna be the good one, isn't it? More have come from the sea with deadly intent. This time, almost too many to manage. I need to be careful. Is this my doing? No. The illusion ritual ended long ago. I fear I have ignited something within them. No matter. I've come too far to stop now. <laughs> I've ignited something inside the crabs. Awesome. Oh, wait, we got to read it again. Okay. Let's see for it to count for the quest. Yada yada yada, ba 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 ba, crab stuff. Okay, did that work? Oh, it. Huh, what? What has happened? Weird. Huh. Satchel, eight gold, some bone meal. Soul gem, look at all their bods. Should we do it again? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> what do you think of this? What do you think of this, crabs? Yes! <laughs> yes, look at it go! Look at me go! Every single one of them. Turn to ash. Don't worry, Gordon doesn't mind. Gordon's not actually... Gordon's true form is not crap. <laughs> Gordon doesn't mind. <laughs> okay. Anything over here? No? Okay. Sure. Fine. Look! There's actually, like, some spiritual residue from the crabs or something, right? Look at this. There's some, like, magical shit emanating from the... the... beach here. Due to crab. What the hell? How do I activate their journal and stuff to get it counted as uh, being read, though? Hmm. Oh, I tried to drop it, but... Um... Huh. Weird. I think it's because I read it in the weird system and all that. Here. If I... Oh, shit, we're way back there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We won't quick load. We'll just- we'll just see if it- if this fucking works, right? We'll see if it works. Okay, let's call for... Oh, shit. Let's actually get in here real quick before we call for Odaving. Because it may take a bit. <laughs> okay. Oh, look. We'll get the fire salts, too. Salt piles. Good. Okay. Lovely. Now, let's call Dragon. Hopefully this will work. We'll see. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Great. There you are. Okay. And then... Let's go for two hours. Cool. And bend will. Now I have to be very careful not to miss with it. Or I guess we can load the autosave, right? <laughs> okay. Alright. 
Whew, thank goodness. Okay, lovely. And then... Where do we have to go? Return back to Riften. Gotcha. I am at your command. Oh, fuck. Okay, How can I serve you, Thuri? Odoving, take us back all the way to Riften, baby. There we go. Good. And then, let's go on over here. Wait, this is not where we want to go at all. <laughs> that ain't Riften. I've, I've worked myself into such a habit of going back to Whiterun for the companions. Okay. There we are. Hopefully I'm just not dead and frozen <laughs> upon arrival. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. As you command. Odoving, I'm gonna count on you to pick a nice spot to land because I just cannot see anything. Okay. Good. Oh shit! <laughs> Prior Mabel went flying around! Okay. Good. Let's clear skies too. Well, I guess once we're off cooldown. Hopefully the rain doesn't make it too cold. Okay. And then we'll go check in with Viraya. There we go. Oh fuck, we're going ultra slow though. Okay, wait. Is Varia up in here? Helga's bunkhouse? Really? Okay. Oh wait. Yes. Hey, you all hang out here. Okay. Need something? The mud crabs have been slain. They were driven into a fury by a necromancer. We sure showed them, eh? Thanks for your part in all that. <laughs> we sure showed them, eh? <laughs> Sevier drew them to the coast using magic, but he lost his control over them. I understand. I've come to rely on you. There's something I want you to have. I've come to rely on you. My honor if you carried it. What is it? The gods keep you. An Al Alakiri fishing rod. What? Are you f what? This Alkiri is. Or is is that even how you say it? Yeah, right? Or is it Alikri? It's like from the Alakir, right? But it's like um it's like in, in a sense you would say um what what's something that you would say? Um I, I don't even know what you would say. <laughs> You'd be like instead of like, oh, this is from America, this is American, right? So instead of this being Alakir make. This is Alakiri, right? I presume. Anyway, it is fit for a master fisherman. Thank you, Viraya. Stay sharp out there. In fact, yeah, if she is, if her father is from Alakir, then yeah. Okay. Know of anyone else in need of uh, some fishing work around Skyrim? Of course. It's all in this note. Oh, of course. Bounty Fang Tusk. Okay. All right then. How about you? you? have questions. I'm Tidings. looking for work. I'm ready for the next fishing challenge. Yeah, what's the next challenge? Of course, it's all in this note. List of Arctic fish. Okay. This may take longer. I'll need to prepare for the cold. My thanks to you. <laughs> okay. Perhaps I could show you what a real dark elf can do to you. You're an animal, Tithus. Keep away from me. Azura's wisdom ah, to you, so my friend. Reputation as a lover precedes me. Care to reconsider? You're disgusting. Don't you even think of laying a finger on me, or I'll cut off something you can't live without. Damn, people are really horny up in here, huh? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that ambient dialogue before. I guess it just plays out if you're in here for a while, right? Working at the Rift and Fishery is tough. But it put some coin in my pocket. Wow. He's talking to the wrong person though, right? Isn't she the one who's like horny as shit too? I'm they should get horny together. Alright, well. Let's see here. Oh dear god, what was the name of the one that we had just got? Bounty Fang Tusk. Right? Bounty. By the order of the Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak. A fearsome hawker has been preying upon fishermen, 
north of Hollyfrost Farm. They say this beast drains the life of any who draws near it. Those that have encountered it and live have taken to calling it Fang Tusk. The creature seems to enjoy eating arctic grayling above all else. This is a fish common to all frozen waters in the snowy north of Skyrim. Fishermen have been keeping it occupied by leaving offerings at its feeding grounds on the shoreline. But the time has come for this threat to be dealt with. Lure the beast out with an arctic grayling placed upon the shore and come well armed. A reward will be offered to any who can manage to slay it. Signed, Yorleaf. Who is Yorleaf again? Is that like his second in command, Ulfric's second in command? The really racist guy? <laughs> is, that, is that who it is? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. What was the other fishing related thing? Good God. Oh, what was it? Oh, dear Lord. Oh, it was the Arctic fishing one, right? Let's see. Yeah, list of arctic fish. Let's see. The, the fish you have brought back are getting along swimmingly, which makes sense, given they're fish. But I mean swimmingly, in the way people say it. I suppose both could be true. The next set of fish I will have you catch will be tough to chew. They swim in frozen waters, and their scales are as thick as ice. Maybe your hook will be the one to melt their scales and their hearts. Aww. <laughs> Here is the list. Angler larvae. Arctic char. Arctic grayling. Cod. Happy fishing. Refer to my excellent third volume of Fishing Mastery if you wish to know more. Okay. Do I have the third volume? I don't. I'm off work at the Black Briar Meadery. Okay. I'll be back there in the Obtain an angler larvae. Obtain an arctic char. I think we have most, if not all of these, though. You know? I mean, yeah, look. Hmm. I don't know if we have an arctic char, though. I think we got a cod. Or no, I'm thinking of a, a carp, aren't I? Okay. Hey, let's look at this cool fishing rod, though. Let's see. Greatly improves the chance of catching small fish when fishing. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's very... It's a very simple fishing rod. It's just like a... A... Bam a rod made of bamboo or something. Or whatever you call bamboo in this world. I don't know. Okay. Let's head on out over here. Let's see. Let us travel on over to... Hmm. I guess over... To the docks, right? We can check in there and see if the book has, like, appeared over there. Inside. There we are. Good, good, good. Honestly, I'm surprised that the... Argonian fishing rod is not, like, more held as, like, I don't know, a rare implement, right? Okay, maybe it's just that this so happens to be a bit rarer, given... Well, no, because Hammerfell is, like, right right over there, right? Argonia, Black Marsh is way further from Skyrim than Hammerfell. Huh. Weird. Yeah, I was, I was going to say maybe it's because of the proximity of the those regions. Okay. Let's look over here. Ah, uh, there it is. Fishing Mastery 3. Fish out of water. What is this? Viraya is an odd one. She wants to fill our precious waters with mud crabs. Mud crabs. Crabs are not fish. They do not swim. They do not smile. You cannot speak to a mud crab. Oh, yes, you can. They cannot hold a conversation in their knobby little pincers. They 
are clumsy creatures, but more importantly, they're unhappy creatures, dour and sunless, like the soil in which they sleep. Ours is to wonder if Iraya is not well to suggest such a thing. Taking that. All right. Oh, look, another note. Things to do. Huh. Things to do. Who wrote this? I don't even know. Repair holes in nets. Sending to Markarth too expensive. Look for a local solution. Valendor, perhaps? Oh. Repair wood. Damage on fish pens. No skill required for this. Should simply have Wujita take care of it. Wow. Three. Adjust fishing charts for Lake Honrich. Or Honrich. Need to keep ship clear of Golden Glow Estate. They took pot shots at our ship last time we moored within a stone's throw of their location. No idea why, and letters to Arangoth have gone unanswered. Ah, we know why. Four. Tell Nivenor to stop spending so much of our damn money. Oh, we know who wrote this for sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't remember her name, but it is that, uh, that angry lady who is very angry all the time about her husband spending their money or some shit, right? <laughs> Isn't he like, he's like the proprietor, the, the dude who runs the pawn shop and shit, right? I think so. Okay. Fishing Mastery 3. Okay. Well, hey, you know what? If you'd like to stick around, we're going... <laughs> Although we have been reading a lot of notes and stuff, we are going to read Fishing Mastery 3 by Swims in Deep Water. Skyrim is known for its cold. Just say the word to an outlander, and a shiver will run up their spine before biting them in the neck. But for an aspiring fisher, this miserable frozen snowscape is more bark than bite, and an opportunity to discover new deep-water fish. In this guidebook, you will find tips for catching fish in arctic, snow-fringed waters. The most important tip being to keep yourself warm, your cast true, and your line steady. Let the shivers crawl up the fish instead. Any place with freezing water will do. But if you're looking for a few places to get started, try fishing the Yorgrim River off the docks of Windhelm. Fishing from the sea near the ships in Dawnstar should also lead to a few bites. Finally, Nightgate Inn. Nightgate Inn? Where is Nightgate Inn? I don't even know. Has a small lake that visitors have been known to enjoy casting their lines into during their stays. Angler larvae. Caught in freezing waters, small in size, commonly caught, seen in any weather. To catch an angler is a feat best reserved for master fishermen. But their hatchlings are a different story. Angler larvae thrive along the seafloor, but often come to the surface and become enticed by the gleam of a fisherman's shiny hook. Size does not matter here. The fishery will not judge you for trying to catch a baby fish. The fully grown angler will be yours in due time. Arctic char. Caught in freezing waters, large in size, uncommonly caught, seen in any weather. The char is a cold water spotted fish native to the coastal shores of Skyrim. It is less common than the grayling, so patience must be had when fishing for it. When I need to be patient, I like to count fish in my head. But you must come up with your own method. If you copy mine, you must pay royalties. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Some have taken to calling it Captain's Bane, as they are known to gather near shipwrecks. For that reason, having an arctic char swim alongside your vestal vessel is an ill omen indeed. Arctic Grayling. Caught in freezing waters, large in size, commonly caught seen in any weather. A long, tapered fish that is a cousin of the salmon. Ours is to wonder if they have family gatherings, but this is unlikely, given how the grayling prefers the cold. Some say the grayling is like the Lady of the Ice. Who is the Lady of the Ice? What the fuck does that mean? True to its name, it is an elegant fish and dances in the water beneath the ice flows in the Sea of Ghosts. I've seen it. Oh, is it like a rare fish? The Lady of the Ice? Huh. Cod. Caught in freezing waters, large in size, uncommonly caught, seen in any weather. The cod is at home in any frozen river, such as the coldest parts of the White River as it winds its way past Windhelm. The cod is a remarkable fish, which you can identify by its three dorsal fins. 
They say all the best things come in threes. A good play has three acts. A sandwich has three parts. The Dunmer worship three gods. Triangles. <laughs> okay. Well, not anymore, right? Not anymore three gods. So I guess, yeah, sure, the anticipations. Okay. I guess the, I guess you could, yeah. There, there's a way in which that's correct. Speaking of threes, this concludes the third volume on our guide to fishing mastery. Once you have caught all of the fish in this book, you have risen to the enviable rank of expert. Well done. Wow. Cool. Very neat. I wonder if there will be, like, grandmaster or secret master, right? After regular master and shit like that. I wonder. I'm very curious. All right, I'm loving all the fishing though. The fishing stuff has been such a such a hoot, such a surprise. All right, well, when next we come back, we'll continue on with our companion stuff and maybe some fishing stuff. We shall see. Until next time, please take care of each other.